Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we will learn how to connect SQLite database with Python and perform basic database operations step by step. If you are new to a database or a SQL, don't worry, I will explain everything in simple and clear terms while writing the code along with you. And by the end of this video, you will understand how to set up SQLite database, create table, insert data, retrieve records, and how to properly close the connection. And the best part, SQLite is built into Python, which means we don't need to install any additional software or database server. So this make it an excellent uh, choice for beginners and the small projects. So let's get started. So you can see here, uh, this is my Visual Studio Code Editor, which I have already opened. The first step is working with SQLite is to establish connection to the database. So in Python, we do this using the SQLite 3 module, which comes pre-installed. So let's start by writing a few line of code. Here we first import the SQLite 3 module, which allows us to interact with an SQLite database. Then we use SQLite3.connect function to create a connection. If the file demo.db already exists, it will simply connect to it. And otherwise, SQL automatically create the file for us. So this is one of the reason SQLite is so convenient. It requires no setup. After establishing the connection, we create a cursor object using con.cursor method. Think of the cursor as a tool that allow us to execute SQL command inside the database. So without it, we wouldn't uh, be able to run the queries or interact with the database effectively. Now that we are connected. And the next step is create a table. A table is where uh, we store data in rows and the column, just like a spreadsheet. So let's create a simple table name to store information about the people. So here we are using the SQL command create table to define the structure of our table. If not exist clause prevents error by ensuring that the table is only created if it doesn't already exist. So this is useful when they're running the script multiple times. And the table contains the three columns. First, ID integer, primary key auto increment. So this act as a unique identifier for each user. And the auto increment ensures that every new entry automatically gets a unique number assigned to it. Second is name. So this stores the user's name. And the text data type means it can hold the text value and not null ensure that this will cannot be left empty. And the third is age. This column holds the user's age, like the name field. And it is also marked as a not null. It means uh, we must provide the value. Now that our table is set up, let's insert some data into it. We will add two users, Alice, who is 25 years old, and the Bob is 30. So for that, we use the insert into command to add a new records to the user's table. Notice that instead of writing the values directly, we use question mark placeholder. These placeholders makes our query safe from SQL injection attacks and help us dynamically insert values. We then pass the actual values as tuples. After inserting the data, we call con.commit method. So this step is crucial because in a database, changes are not automatically saved until we explicitly commit them. So if we forget this step, the data won't be permanently stored. 
Now that we have stored the sum data, let's retrieve and display it to see if everything is working as expected. So here we use SQL command select start from users to fetch all records from the table. And the function cursor.fetchAll retrieve all rows and store them in the variable. Then we use simple for loop to print each record one by one. Once we are done working with the database, it is always good practice to close the connection to free up system resources. A simple command con dot close method. So this ensures that uh, everything is safely returned to the file and prevent potentially issue in a larger application. Now let's run our script. Once executed, you should see the output displaying allies and the pops records in the terminal. So this means we have successfully connected to SQLite, created table, inserted data and retrieve it. And here you can see the database file. So that's it for today. In this video we cover how to SQLite with Python step by step. We learn how to connect to an SQL database, create table, insert records, retrieve data and close the connection properly. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.